things. God would like to do certain things but can't. That's how they picture them. And they have a defeated Savior because they say Christ laid down his life for the entire world and yet the majority of the world won't accept him so you know he's 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 defeated and then they have a frustrated spirit because men are rebels so the spirit is going around trying what they say trying to get men to believe on Christ and yet they won't can you imagine if that were actually the case what kind of God would that be that is so foreign and so contrary to what we see here everything about how our Lord describes his mission his work in spite of the opposition of men is that of success and that's why any of us in this room are hearing me that are the Lord's know him we were found of, of the Lord who saw him not. There's not a person here that could say they know the Lord and that you set out to know him. You thought you did. You had a God of your own imagination. But to know him in truth, it took this very comforter. It took this very spirit. It took this very court bailiff to come get you and to release you and to draw you to the Lord Jesus Christ such is his his work to do and, and again he was promised that he might not complete the work of Christ Christ's work was complete when he said it is finished it is finished the judgments over 